Yesterday was Father's Day. A lot of you got to spend time with your kids, got cards, got gifts. I got phone calls. Now, don't get me wrong, love the phone calls. Even had a dual call with all three of my kids. I love phone calls. And one of the great things about my kids is they don't just call me on Father's Day. We talk a lot. Uh, we talk, I talk a lot more to Michael because he calls me every day. And then there's Madison who when she calls me will talk for hours. And then there's Aiden. Aiden's hit or miss. He can call me and talk to me for two minutes or as he did yesterday, talk to me for an hour and a half. And we talk about different things. There's a little bit of crossover, but for the most part, Aiden, I debate politics. Michael's just, this is what I'm doing right now. Madison, it's uh, either life or work or the Bible. Um, so conversations kind of, you know, are different. And the kids realize that. And they made the comment yesterday. And I, I said to them, yeah, I talked to Madison about the Bible. And Michael goes, yeah, I talked to you about the Bible the other day too, which is pretty cool because he did. Um, Michael had probably one of the most astute observations about the discipline of God and made the best analogy than I've heard in a long time. He has a friend. Actually, they're a couple and they moved um, away to Europe for about five months. And when they came back, hadn't talked to them for a while. And they got together and he found out they hadn't gone to church in a year. And the one of his friends was saying that um, she believed in God, but didn't know if she was a Christian anymore because in essence, she thought God was mean um, because of all the difficult things that she was allowed to go through. And Mike didn't think that it really made a whole lot of sense to him. And he made the observation that, well, Michael gets up every morning and watches Gordon's Ramsay's something restaurant show. I can't remember what it is. I know he started off with Hell's Kitchen. Guy's got an attitude. Oh my goodness. And he's got a temper. And he swears and he throws things and he says things exactly the way he sees them. And he's got the show where he goes into a restaurant that's failing and struggling. And he basically rips everybody apart. And everybody hates him for it. Oh, they're mad at Gordon Ramsay. How could you say that? This is my specialty. Oh, this everybody loves this. And he goes, it tastes like crap or whatever other word he's using at the moment. And he goes on. And at some point, you know, I mean, it's reality TV, probably some of it's staged. But they want to kick him out. They said, that's it. We don't want you in our life. Go away. And then somebody has a voice of reason. Well, let's just give him a chance and see what he can do. And he comes in and he makes the restaurant something amazing. And at the end, everybody loves him. And they love him because of the results. But they hate him because of the process. And Mike says God's discipline is a lot like that. God knowing everything, knowing what we need and knowing what we want, comes in and starts messing up our life starts acting mean and we get angry with him and we don't like it and God is God's pretty blunt he's loving but he can be pretty harsh he's saying this is what you need to do and this is what you need to change if you're going to have the good life that I have promised you and the good life we want but we don't always like the process well if we kick God out of our lives and say we don't want anything to do with you you know it doesn't mean that life is necessarily going to get better because we are not going to be able to achieve the good life that God has promised us if we don't accept it from God. But if we do, somebody, the voice of reason says, just give God a chance. Be obedient. Listen to him. At the end, when we look back and we say, this is what we went through, it was worth it because of what we received at the end. We received the life that we wanted. We received the restaurant that's doing fine. Uh, man, that is a great analogy. And it's like that. A lot of times we don't like what God has to offer. God is a perfect father. And the scripture says God disciplines us. He said he disciplines us as a, as a loving father. He said if, we, if he didn't discipline us, it would show his lack of love for us. And he disciplines us. And it's hard. But the end result... The end result is of life that Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it to the full.
That's what he wants for you. That's what he's working for. And that's my encouragement for you today. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.